Hey guys, thanks for coming to watch another video today. So today we are going to be talking about brain dumping. And if you're not familiar with what brain dumping is, it's basically a method to which you dump everything out on a piece of paper or on um, in your planner and you basically take everything that is in your mind, in your brain at the time, and you take a specific amount of time and you let it all out so that it no longer lives in your brain and you can use your brain for other things and um, basically it's kind of like a computer so if your computer is housing too much information or it's doing too much then it's gonna run slower and that's kind of the concept of a brain dump what I've done is I have created some awesome resources for you guys and hopefully you find them helpful I wanted to mention that I did launch a new website so that houses everything that I have to offer. It houses all of my free printables. It's going to house a workbooks that I'm going to be um, offering as well. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the freebie because I want you to pause this video and download these resources so that we can go through it together because it's really going to be helpful for you to do this with me so I can explain why we're doing it, how we're doing it, and you can get the most out of it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this free printable right here. So this printable is something that I created for a brain dump and it's called the five minute brain dump and it is free, it's completely free. It includes a trigger list up here which I'll talk about in a second, I'll talk about what that is, and then a couple of um, columns here for you to write things down. I wanted to talk about, I have a couple of um, extras here. I wanted to talk about the workbook that I created. So this has taken me some time. I really wanted to put some thought into it. I wanted this to be very useful for you guys. So this is going to be for sale as a little bundle um, on ViennaOrtizPlans.com and it's a brain dump workbook. So it comes in letter, which you can also print A5 size if you print them two on a page, personal and pocket. When you purchase the listing, you'll get all of those sizes so you can use it for all of your different size planners. But uh, basically this is what it looks like. So it's a brain dump workbook and then you have the checklist so that you can print this workbook multiple times. So you can print it once a week and you can make sure that you're doing all of these things and once you've checked this off, then you know you've completed a successful brain dump exercise. So let me show you what this consists of. It has the title page, it has your checklist, uh, ha it has the freebie here, so it has the five minute brain dump freebie, so it already comes free, but it's included in the workbook. It has um, organizing your brain dump. It has a page here for creating a to-do list after you've organized it. It has action exercise page. It has a brain dump tracker to track how many days you're doing it, you know, throughout the month. And it has the trigger list. So the different sizes are gonna have different formats. So like your letter is gonna have um, a few, like just like two or three pages of the trigger list. Your personal is gonna have a few more just because of the formatting, but it's the same trigger list. And this is what it looks like. And again, I'm gonna explain what all of this is as we get into the video in more detail. And then this is just the um, page at the end with all of the information and where you can find it and things like that. If you wanna pause this video and go ahead and grab that, we are going to be going through these things in detail and it works best if you have it in front of you so you can pause and you can really um, do this interactively. When I asked you guys on Instagram, some of you guys, most of you guys said, that you did participate in a brain dump. Some of you said you didn't know what it was. And when I asked in detail when you guys did it or how often you guys did it, a lot of you guys did it daily. A lot of you guys even did it weekly or some people did it um, as needed. For me, I would say that it's probably best for you to take five minutes out of your day every day and just do your brain dump. Five minutes, timer on, and just use your trigger list to see what are some things that you need to get done and you may not have at the forefront of your brain right now because there's so many things going on, but that you wanna bring to the forefront and then you wanna get rid of completely so that you can focus on being creative or whatever you might need to focus on. What we're gonna do right now is we are gonna take five minutes and we're gonna use this list right here to brain dump. So the one thing I wanna talk about is the trigger list is basically what triggers your thoughts. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. For example, right here it says project started, not completed. 
you're gonna read these things and if something comes to your mind as you're reading these uh, different subjects, different topics, you're gonna write it down. So what I did was I condensed the bigger list into a smaller list of things that are more common. Um, and at the bottom here, there's even some things for fears, inspiration, and positive affirmations. And that's more spiritual. I wanted to add things that were more, you know, personable, um, more um, relatable to you know, spiritual things and not just things that we have to get done, but things that we feel as well. Like I said, let's go ahead and pause this video right here because I don't want to take five minutes of your time to just do my brain dump. So we'll pause this right here. We'll both do our five minute brain dump, put five minutes on the clock, and then we'll come back and we'll see how this goes from um, beginning to completion really nicely and how you're going to be able to get so much more out of your brain dump. Okay, so I actually took some time, it was probably only like two minutes, and I went through all of these different subjects here on the list, and this is what I came up with. I probably could have came up with more, I was drawing a blank, and if I wanted to go ahead and use the longer list, then I probably could have come up with way, 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 way more. But I used this list for now, and for the purposes of this video, I don't want it to be super long, so I wanted to keep it pretty short. But as you can see, there's a little bit of room here, so I went ahead and made things um, so that I can understand them. You guys may not be able to, but I know exactly what I'm talking about. What we're going to do now is we are going to organize this brain dump, and I'm going to show you how to do that on the workbook. And like I said, this workbook is really good just to have on hand so you can work this out. Your list might be way longer than mine. It might have all of this filled in. And within five minutes, you'll probably be able to fill it out. However, you're not going to know what to do with it once it's done. You're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed. So that's why after I created the freebie, I thought, you know what, I'm going to create something a little bit more in-depth. As we go through the workbook here, I went ahead and did the five-minute brain dump already. So that's what I'm going to mark off. Next, we are going to organize it. Um, this is the page that I just used, so I've just pulled it out so I can use it. With all of these things here, you're going to want to know what's really important, um, what's very important, what's important, what's semi-important, and what's not important. And this is going to help you create your to-do list and create um, kind of a peace of mind for you moving forward so that you can focus on other things. My first one here says Everly's B-Day, which I know what that's referring to. It's basically a whole bunch of things that I need to get done by her birthday. And for me, that's very important. It says Everly's B-Day things. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in here. So now you can see how I've taken the five minute brain dump and I moved it over to this organizer. And for me, this makes a little bit more sense in my head now because I don't just have a list, I have a pretty good roadmap as to when things need to get done. So now I'm just going to put that in there and I'm gonna remove this next part so we can move on to the next part in the workbook. And I am going to check that off there. Now that we have this list and we've organized the brain dump, I am going to create the to-do list that I need. Here you have three different sections. You have the to do now, to do soon, and to do in the future. And the rule of thumb is if you can't fit it within these things here, then you probably have too much on your plate and you wanna condense that and really think about you know, what you're getting done when. So the to do now is basically things you're going to do within the next couple of days. So we're talking like within the next week. These are things that you have to get done. To do soon is like next week or the weeks to come. And to do in the future is like in a, maybe a month or so. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to take the very important things and we're going to move them over to the to do now. And we can go ahead and write in a little bit more detail here if we want to because it's a little bit bigger.
Okay, so I'm all done. I went ahead and moved all of these things over into this to-do list here. And now I can work with this. This is something that I think makes more sense to my brain. So I've actually taken some of these things and wrote them out better. And one thing I wanted to talk about, which is really important, is starting your to-do list with a verb. Schedule, buy, get, schedule, clean, organize. When you start your to-dos with a verb, it helps you to um, take action. So that's just a little tip for you. So now you have to do now, to do soon, and to do in the future. And you can go through and check those off as they're getting done. And you can, as you do your brain dump, you can move things around and you might find yourself moving, you know, some of these to do soons up and you're gonna just see it really go really smoothly for you um, moving forward. So now I'm gonna take out uh, this page right here and we're gonna go and check off this portion of the workbook. So we went ahead and created our to-do list and now we have to do our action exercise, which this is also a very important thing to do if you are finding that one of your to-dos is a little bit overwhelming, you're not sure you know, where to go, what steps to take, and you're kind of stuck because being stuck can cause somebody to freeze and not move forward. This is kind of similar to a project page, so if you find this more useful or just as useful for you to use when you are organizing a project, you can use this as well for that. I'm gonna use it for Everly's B-Day things because um, that's kind of like a big thing. And um, let's say I want to um, make it more specific and I want to talk about um, the goodie bags because I want to make some goodie bags for my family that's going. So I am going to write that there. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote that in. This is a little bit trivial, so it's not gonna be um, as detailed as something that you might have to write down, like maybe taxes or something like that. Might be a little bit more in depth for you. But I went ahead and put that there, and why, and that's why it's trivial, is because, you know, I want to, <laughs> or because, um, because it's fun. So that's what I'm gonna put there. Um, so the action steps, that's gonna be a little bit more helpful to me because for the action steps, um, there's some things I've already done and some things I need to do. So I wrote down the things that I want to put inside here and that way since things, since these things are not fully done when they are done, I can cross them out. So as far as the time frame goes, right now as I'm filming this video, I have three days left. Not a lot of time. Um, as far as difficulty, it's gonna be a little bit on the harder side because I have a few of them to do. And then the results when done are gonna be, I'm putting awesome. I'm gonna be excited. I will feel excited. And then my reward is going to be, my reward is gonna be the smiles on my family's faces. So this is kind of a more trivial action exercise. Um, there's some things on here that I probably could have done, but I didn't want to complicate it. So now that that is done, I am going to mark that off here. And the next couple of things on in the workbook are the brain dump tracker and the trigger list. So for the brain dump tracker, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna put the month of March. Um, just as an example here, and of course today is the, today's actually the 26th, so I am gonna go ahead and just color that in there. And as you do your brain dumps, your goal is to try to get this filled in as much as possible because it's gonna help you you know, to streamline your planning, streamline everything that you have to do. So you're gonna to wanna to mark these in as much as possible. As you can see, it didn't take me too long. And a thing that I wanna mention is you can print out the action exercise as many times as you want. So when you go through your to-do list, let's say you have, you know, five of these things that you need an action exercise for, you can print this out a million bazillion times and you can use it, you know, for all of those to-dos. And so I wanted to go over the trigger list here. This is actually based off the GTD method, which is get things done method. It's an awesome method. Um, again, this is just a thank you page. You can find me here and here. 
visit the website to go ahead and grab these. And I'm going to be adding things. There's gonna be freebies on there. There's gonna be more workbooks. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's helpful. So I believe my next video is going to be the setup of this Ochre Malden. So that'll be coming to you soon because that is not something I have to prepare heavily for. <laughs> so that'll be here soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.